Welcome to DataViz Dev Talk. I'm your host, Minhas Ghazi, Developer Advocate for Data Studio. In this video, we'll talk about the connector manifest and why it is important to have the right information there. Let's get started. Your connectors manifest is a special JSON file in your AppScript project that specifies certain metadata about your connector. AppScript needs some of this information to run the script successfully. Data Studio also needs certain information from the manifest to display and execute the connector. You can find out more about AppScript manifest in general in the link below. AppScript automatically creates and updates the project manifest as you create your connector and make changes in the AppScript editor. However, there are a few properties that you will need to update manually for your connector. First is the Data Studio property. All information about your connector will be added under this property. Some of this information is mandatory. Your connector's name is limited to 28 characters. You'll need to provide the name of the developer or the organization, as well as the URL for the organization. You should have a logo or icon for your connector that should be 40 pixels by 40 pixels. The add-on URL should be a link to a page that is preferably hosted on your domain and explains what your connector does and how to use it. This is the link users will go to when they click on the Learn More button on your connector card. The support URL should link to a support page for the connector. Users should be able to report issues with your connector at this link. You'll also need to provide a description for your connector. This will be visible in the connector configuration page. Links in this description will be clickable. It is always a good idea to provide all information or instructions necessary to have a basic understanding of the connector and how to use it in the description. These mandatory information are required for Data Studio to render the connector interface on different screens. This information also helps the user to know more about your connector and explore on their own. Then we have some certain optional properties under the Data Studio property. These aren't required if you're building a connector for limited use. However, if you plan to publish your connector, you must include this optional information in the manifest. This information helps to showcase the connector in the gallery and let the users quickly search for connectors and filter based on certain criteria. The short description is limited to 114 characters. If your connector is published, this short description will be visible in the gallery card for your connector. Use this to briefly describe what your connector does. Users will view this short description when they browse through the connectors in the gallery. You'll need to provide links to your privacy policy and terms of service, list the authentication type and fee type for your connector. If you want to provide a template for your users, you can list it in the manifest. The template will provide a seamless experience for your users since they will start with the template instead of a blank dashboard when they use your connector. We will have a separate video focusing on the template experience. One important entry in the manifest is the sources. Your connector might connect to one or more sources. For example, if you create a Google Fit connector, your source for data would be Google Fit. To add the sources property, you first must ensure that the source information exists in our source registry on the Data Studio open source repository. If your source does not exist there, you can add it yourself by sending us a pull request. Sources act as metadata when users search for a specific connector. More information about this can be found in the link in the description. There are two additional properties at root level that you will need to be aware of. If you're using the AppScript URL fetch app call to fetch data from HTTP endpoints, you should list all the endpoints under the URL fetch whitelist property. This is mandatory when you're publishing your connector. You will not be able to make calls to endpoints outside of this list. So be careful to list all applicable endpoints, including the ones required for authorization. The second property is OAuth scopes. AppScript automatically determines what scopes a script needs by scanning its code for function calls that require them. For most scripts, this is sufficient and saves you time. However, for advanced use cases, like when you're using a service account to access data, you might need to explicitly define the scopes. That covers the basics for your connector manifest. As we add more features to Data Studio and community connectors, more options might be available in the manifest in future. Make sure to check the manifest reference linked below when you're developing your own connector. You can always go to our developer site at developers.google.com slash data studio for more information. 
If you like this video, stay tuned on the GCP channel for more Data Studio content. Thanks for watching. <laughs>